Hi, this is Joel Smith from Bigger Bite Bold and Mindset for Success. And today I want to talk to you about doing the right things for the right reasons. So quite often when I do goal setting with people, and it's a fundamental part of what we do in success groups, they come back to me and say, George, how do I know that I'm setting the right goals? How do I know this is the right goal for me? Well, the truth of the matter is we can never truly know that a goal is 100% right for us. All we can know is the best set of goals to go for from where we are today. So you may have heard that kind of metaphor where people say, before you climb the ladder, make sure the ladder's leaning against the right wall. Well, how do you know it's the right wall? The truth of the matter is, you probably don't know until you get a certain distance up that ladder. So I know so many people that are sitting there with their ladders that literally aren't putting them against any wall. In other words, they're not putting a stake in the ground, they're not setting a goal, they're not setting their ambitions, they're not setting a direction in life because they're constantly worried that it might be the wrong wall. The truth of the matter is, you have to best guess. You guess what are the best goals for you right now, for your business, for your life, whatever it might be. You then plant that ladder against that wall and you wanna climb that ladder as quickly as humanly possible because the quicker you get up that ladder and start taking action, the quicker you're gonna know whether this is the right goal for you. Sometimes, you know what, you do have to climb all the way back down, take the ladder, lean against another wall and climb again. And that's why we need to be really resilient in life and really resilient in business. Because if it doesn't work out the first time or if we go down the wrong route the first time, we certainly wanna make sure that we go the second time, the third time, the fourth time. Because the more times that we keep going for our life, the more times we keep going for our goals, then the quicker, the sooner we're gonna find the right way for us, okay? Life is a little bit a case of trial and error. You may have worked this out so far for yourself. But the truth of the matter is, if we become someone that doesn't even set our goals, then what happens, of course, is we can never climb the wrong ladder. We can never achieve the wrong goals. But guess what? We achieve nothing. That can't be the right uh, option. So I want to share with you a really simple model for helping you understand if you're setting the right goals. And the really simple thing is, it's the box that I call the right goals for the right reason. So I want you to imagine in this box here, what we've got is on the top left here, we've got the right thing for the right reason. Over here, we've got the right thing for the wrong reason. Down here, we've got the wrong thing for the right reason. And here, we've got the wrong thing for the wrong reason. Now, simplest way of looking at this, Imagine this was a relationship. Imagine it's a relationship you may have had quite possibly in the past or maybe even having right now. If you're with the right person for all the right reasons, your relationship is probably going to work out. If you're with the right person but the wrong reasons, the chances are your relationship is going to fail. What I mean by that, think back to a relationship you've had where you know what, you realise you, you could have made that work with that person. That relationship really might have been the one. But you realise at the time, we might actually sometimes say it was the wrong timing. What we mean by actually, chances are like the wrong reasons at the time, you know, with the wrong place. So it might be the right person, but it was all the wrong reasons, okay? Maybe we needed to be loved. We wanted that person to love us because it would make us feel better about who we are, for example. That's the wrong reasons for being in a relationship, by the way, okay? So down here, of course, if you're the wrong person but the right reason, so you've done your job, you sat there and said, right, you know what, I know what relationships are all about. They're about companionship and partnership, they're about support, they're about nurture and respect, and they're about loving each other, but they're about independence. You know, we're our own people, but within this unit, and we work stronger together because we're together, blah, blah, blah. You get what I'm saying, right? So you've got all the right reasons for being in a relationship, but you're with the wrong person. That is never gonna work out, is it? This one here, who's ever had a relationship? The wrong person for all the wrong reasons. You know how that one turned out. Total and utter disaster. The only way that your relationship is really going to work is if it's with the right person for the right reasons. And it's exactly the same with your goals. The right goals for the right reasons. Now, you cannot totally know 100% that this is the right goal, but we can pressure test it to find out. So we first of all, we take the goals that we think are our best goals right now. So best guess your goals. So let's assume that's the right goal. It might not be, but let's assume it's the right goal. We pressure test it by saying, what are my reasons for going that goal? In other words, is it positively driven or negatively driven? You see, if I want to be successful so I can show everybody I grew up with, look at me, look how much better I am than you, look how much better I am than I was, trying to prove myself to other people, it's a very negative force. And actually, do you know what? Very rarely does that turn into success. And if it does turn into material success, very rarely does it turn into emotional success. In other words, you're, you might have a nice car and you might have loads of money, but you probably aren't going to be very happy necessarily. It's not a good driving force. So what we do then is we find better reasons. Because what we assume is, let's assume I've got the right goal here, but it looks like I've gone the wrong reasons for this goal, so I need to find better reasons for achieving this goal. 
So actually, you might not need to change the goal. Let's assume we keep the goal. So the goal is still to be massively financially successful, but my reasons are now gonna be something more positive. So I've gotta find these better reasons, these new reasons. Maybe it's so I can help more people. Maybe so I can uh, be an inspiration to my family, be an inspiration to my children. Maybe it's so I can buy some nice things for myself and do some nice things for other people, give to charity, whatever it might be. Like create a really big business and employ people and give them an opportunity to be part of something amazing. So I'm saying all of this feels like the right reason, okay? So then what I get you to do is we say, right, so now I think I've got my right reason. Now I challenge, is it the right thing? So then I want you to turn around and say to yourself really simply, is there another way of achieving this outcome? So my reasons are to be an inspiration to my family. My reasons are to create a big business so that I can ultimately help influence other people's lives and give them an opportunity to work for it, blah, blah, blah. So that's it. Is there another way of achieving that goal without being financially massively successful? Now, don't just say no straight away. You want to question it and say, if there was a better way, what would it be? Does this make sense? If there was a better way of achieving this, what would it be? Now you've got an alternative. And what you do is you keep going through this process until you find that best match that you can with the right thing for the right reasons. And if your goal sits firmly up here, then the chances are you've got a good chance of succeeding at it. And the chances are it's going to be a great goal for you as well. Ideally, we want to hit that goal right there. So it's the rightest goal we can have for the rightest reason we can possibly find. I hope this makes sense, not just in relationships, but in all your goals. It's a test that I put on all of my entrepreneurs to make sure that we've got the best chance, not 100% guaranteed, but the best chance of making sure we're setting the best goals we can driven from the best place. Because if we start on the wrong goals or we start for the wrong reasons, not only are we probably gonna fail, but more importantly, we may even achieve the wrong thing or we might even achieve the right thing, but we're gonna have a really rubbish experience while we're doing it. The right thing powered by the right reason gives us incredible power behind our goals and it gives us a real degree of certainty that enables the unconscious mind to commit fully to taking action to achieving those goals. And that's what we need to wake up and be driven and motivated to achieve our goals. And this helps us and our unconscious mind commit to that process. Until next time, be successful.